So right now I want to show you a feature of this calculator. It's called the uh, internal value versus the displayed value. So if you look at your calculator here, and we'll punch in a few, just a few random numbers, and this number gets displayed all the way back here. If you were to do a calculation, everything behind here is stored inside the, everything behind here is stored inside the calculator. So regardless of how many places you actually have showing, it's still gonna be stored within the calculator. So let's go 100 divided, divided by six. So see it takes you 16, six, 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 seven all the way down. So you divide it, we divided 100, 100 divided by six. It takes you 666 six, six, all the way down here to this end and then it rounds the very last number. So let's go second format. And we're gonna set this at two. Two, enter. So now it's gonna be set in two decimal places. Second, quit. So now you see it's set at two decimal places. So now we will divide 100 by six. And now it shows 16.67. Now, the reason why this makes a difference is when you're taking an exam, especially a financial exam, at times they're gonna want up to three digits past the decimal. And if you entered 16.670 or even just 16.67, you would get it incorrect because they would want the decimals farther out. And the rounding can get you into trouble. So let's change that second format. So let's go ahead and make it eight digits. So we can go as far out as we need to. Second, quit. So now let's go 100 divided by six. So now you have a higher degree of accuracy going all the way down. So the more digits you have displayed, the more accurate your answer is gonna be. So make sure you understand what either the rounding is for the exam you're doing or that you have as many decimal places showing. I've taken ex final exams or financial exams that they require up to three rounded up and some have only been, they only want two rounded up. So make sure that you have the correct number of digits showing just so that you can make sure you get the right answer for the uh, that final rounded number. So it's best just to show as many of these decimal points as possible.